Without water, desert towns and cities would simply not exist. Large parts of Iraqi territory, now retaken from Daesh, had abundant supplies before the terror group moved in. Now it comes from a local and polluted river. The water from here hydrates the local population in surrounding villages and makes its way to aid camps. But not everyone is happy about their supply. Some people drink it. No one has died, but people were poisoned or fainted. All of this because of the water here. The people of Syramun have other problems. There's no gas to boil the water, and there's a nearby shifting front line to contend with. Daesh didn't think twice about damaging the water supply. IS jihadists were in the water treatment plant and they bombed it. It's destroyed. All the pumps, the filter system and sedimentation basins have been destroyed. Now the water goes directly from the river to reservoirs and onto the city. The United Nations is trying to ease the suffering of displacement, but repairing destroyed facilities will take much longer than it did for Daesh to destroy them. Earlier this month, the Salamia plant was reopened. It'll provide supplies to an estimated 100,000 people. We have a list of more than 25 water treatment plants, just like this one, that we're working on in order to rehabilitate them, to make sure that the damage that's been done is corrected and to get safe drinking water to all of the people who live in Mosul and in the Nineveh Plains. The UN and aid agencies working in Iraq hope to supply water to all retaken areas within three months. But it's a slow process as temperatures rise above 40 degrees. Regional officials estimate 35 billion is needed to repair all the damaged infrastructure in Nineveh province. Frustrations could boil over with the government in Baghdad, which is yet to release any funds for the work. Nick Davis-Jones, TRT World.